Right, the problem is when you go out in the public. There's very few times you can video, really. This is an invasion of people's privacy. So I'm going for this little field walk. It's lunchtime now, so I think a lot of people will be um, having their lunch. I'm just trying to get as much as I can done. Um, <clears throat> there's a farmhouse and Mary Arden's house. A bit confusing, I thought. I thought the farmhouse was better done out than Mary Arden's. She looked very, very plain and no furniture or anything in it, not really. <sighs> But there, are, there aren't that many people here. I imagine this being absolutely packed. Fields. When Shakespeare was alive, the fields were very different from those we see today. A village typically had three or four huge fields, known as open fields, and they were divided into long, narrow strips. You can see these as undulations in the field in front of you. Each family owned or rented separate strips of land. The strips were ploughed in autumn from each side by a team of up to eight oxen pulling simple ploughs. The plough blade cut the turf and forced the soil against a board which turned it over and moved it sideways into a ridge. Shakespeare's family at Mary Arden's farm would have farmed many strips scattered far and wide throughout the village. Oh yeah, you can see it undulating it's true of course I've they've got a cider press and everything back there I've noticed yeah there's certainly you do really need an awful lot of time to do all this I mean this is a day trip on its own you see just coming here I'm doing a token visit so I've videoed where I can I videoed where I can, but obviously when there's people around, I can't. So I have done a lot of photos. This is the walk round I'm doing now, because I think a lot of people are eating. So what I've noticed, people are always eating. Um, you know, it seems to be the main thing. I mean, basically, I've got a, cup, a cake, a fruit bar, orange and apple, and a drink of water, and a drink of blackcurrant. You could spend a fortune if you if you stopped to go in every everywhere you went to keep eating, you'd need a several hundred quid. I've got to be very careful with mine, so um mine is to come. I've done lots of videos and photos. I've done it's, it's to do with Shakespeare. This was his parents' farm. They were wealthy people, you know, they had land. Um. Oh, look at all these piggies. Hello, I haven't got any food though. There'd be loads of children out here soon giving you foodies. Hello. A little brand. Yeah. Yeah. They're all following me, look. Right, over and out for now.